today I'm in Des Moines, Iowa. I'm at the Varied Industries Building. The Military Vehicle Preservation Association is having their national show here today. Let's go inside and check it out. It's really cool. A couple of armored tractors. You can see where the gunners would sit encased into a steel cage where they're protected. Even the driver had a door in the back to totally enclose them. They do have little doors on those driving windows that they can flip down. With much smaller slots to see through. Interesting support on the top to hold everything together there so that the people on the sides don't fall off. The original Jeep, of course, was designed by the American Bantam Corporation. This here is an American Austin Bantam Roadster. An amphibious version of the Jeep. Here we have the predecessor to my M37. This is the Dodge WC. So this apparently is an atomic weapons launcher.
Little Chrysler product. This here is a mobile canteen. The mess hall trailer, it all folds up and then you get to where you're going, unfold it, and you have a full kitchen. Remember from my video when I picked up my M37, the shop that had that truck had one of these 8x8 Ford sitting in it. We have a Dodge M37 next to it as well. get a really good sense of how small this tank is next to these trucks. This is a Marmon Harrington. And a very small tank easily get that down normal city roads we have another Dodge WC now a couple half tracks This is the oldest vehicle I've seen so far. This is a Model T Ford military truck. This truck obviously has a very specific purpose, but I'm not sure what it is yet. I guess this is just an really old school design crane. I think the crane is fixed height. But you can pick something up off the ground and roll it back on the girder there and set it inside the truck. Now we have a couple of mules. Sometimes I've thought that it would be neat to have one of these at a racetrack can easily carry your fuel jugs around, your equipment. Pretty much would go anywhere. Now we have another Model T. This one is based on the automobile chassis. It's not on the truck chassis like the other one was.
This is a Cushman scooter. With a little trailer behind it. And a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Look at the leg guards there. That's pretty neat. Now this is really neat. This is a tiny 6x6. This is a Willys MT Tug. Kind of like a cross between a Pinscower and a Halflinger. Being a 6x6, it feels really small. Those are the judges in the background there. They're judging this vehicle currently. Another half track. And a snow tractor. This one was built for the army. Not exactly sure what they would have used it for. Next to it is a massive tracked vehicle. This would be very intimidating to see this come at you. This thing is absolutely huge. Someone took a civilian willies and turned it into a hot rod. Not sure why it's here. It's not being based on a military vehicle. But I guess it does have guns on it. The show also has a gigantic swap meet, so if you're looking for parts for your military vehicle, or toys, or props, or uniforms, all of that can be found here. Here we've got an LMTV that someone put a shelter on the back and converted it to a motorhome. I just got a tour inside. He has done a lot of modifications to this vehicle. They have all the five and seven ton trucks outside. This wrecker looks like it's been sitting outside for a long time, but obviously it still runs and drives. Someone put dual tires on the front and rear of this one. Another passenger vehicle. We have a M35 that someone fitted super singles to.
had a great time at the show today. If the Military Vehicle Preservation Association is having a show near you, it's definitely worth checking out. And if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.